Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I recently had a client approach me who needed a spreadsheet which would enable him to check that the fee being charged by the people handling his investment portfolio were charging the correct fee. So the problem we had to solve involved this. Each level was charged at the rate that you see in the spreadsheet. For example, the first $100,000 was charged at 3%, the second $100,000 was charged at 2.8%, etc. So the higher the portfolio value, the less became the charge. So as an example, uh, if let's say the portfolio value is $250,000, the first $100,000 charged at 3%, the next $100,000 at 2.8%, and the balance, in this case it would have been $50,000, is charged at 2.5%. So the problem was, how can the spreadsheet show the correct fee for a given portfolio? So what I'm going to do is enter into uh, cell D15. Let's say the initial uh, portfolio, or A portfolio value, was $90,000. What would the fee be? Well, the fee will be $2,700. In other words, the formula up in the formula bar was if and D15 is greater than $50,000 and less than $100,001, then simply multiply D15 by E15, that is the amount by the rate, uh, otherwise show nothing. That's the two little quote marks together. So I'm just going to delete that figure there and move down to the next actual amount and let's say the amount being invested uh, and being charged a fee was $185,000. What would the fee be? Well the fee would be $5,380 and that was calculated quite simply the first $100,000 at 3% with the difference between $100,000 and the portfolio amount multiplied by the second highest rate, 2.8%, and the two results added together. So the formula that I see up in the formula bar, if D16 equals 0, show nothing, otherwise multiply 100,000 uh, 100, by E15, that will give me the first uh, 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 tranche which is $100,000 and add to that D16 $185,000 minus the first $100,000 and multiply that by 2.8% add the two together and that gives me my answer is $5,380 so so far so good uh, the next one let's suppose that the amount invested was $310,000 what would the fee be the fee will be 8550 and the formula for that particular uh, cell, same concept as the comment above in E16, but now the formula looks at the difference between C17 and C16 for the balance. So uh, it's multiplying 2.5% by $110,000, which is the difference between that figure and that figure, between $310,000 and $200,000, and then uh, uh, multiplying that by 2.5% and adding that to the calculation on the uh, two cells previous. So, so far so good. Uh, now, what if the amount invested was $420,000? same logic as above so we're simply adding up here in the formula bar uh, and this might be a good time to pause the video um, study the formula and uh, you'll see the logic behind it remember an if statement has three arguments first of all it tests the cell so in this case it's testing D18 it's saying if D18 has nothing in it then show nothing in the cell in which the formula is written. Otherwise, the third argument is to add those various cells and their calculations together to give me the answer, given on the sliding scale of uh, ranges and the fees for each range. Finally, let's say that the amount invested was $1.2 million. What would the fee be? 
$23,050 and exactly the same logic as we see above. Uh, again, pause the video, study the formula and you'll see uh, exactly how we get that, that particular answer of $23,050. So the client was happy, he was able to enter uh, his portfolio value and see whatever the charge should have been. Uh, I might add that he had a nice honest money manager and uh, um, he was fine. But it's always nice to check. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. There are lots of other Excel uh, tips and tricks and exercises on this channel and it's my pleasure to bring these, these to you. Uh, th thank you again for watching.